Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a realistic looking glass material that reflects things around it in Unreal Engine 5.1. Before starting I want to take a moment to thank you guys because the channel has reached the 200 subscription mark, 600 likes and 15,000 views. And this is great guys, so thank you for your support and let's dive in in this new tutorial. First of all, note that I'm using a real 5.1 and if you want to achieve the reflections you saw at the beginning, you need this new version of the engine. In your project settings, go on the rendering section and scroll down until you find the reflections options and be sure to have lumen selected. Use hardware ray tracing when available should be selected too in order to have high quality reflections. Ray lighting mode needs to be on heat lighting for reflections instead of surface cache and you can see the difference it makes. Here is set to heat lighting for reflections and the reflections look very good. When I set it back to surface cache the reflections quality drops. Instead, unchecking hardware ray tracing has a bigger impact. The reflections are still there but are washed out and don't look realistic as before. Of course, these settings have an impact on performance but if you want to achieve a realistic look, you should keep them as I said before. We need to set one final option before we start and it's located in the post-process volume, so select it in your scene and scroll until you find Lumen Reflection section. There you need to check high quality translucency reflections and the checkbox on the right. If you find your material not looking as it should, remember to go back and see if those checkboxes are checked. Now let's have a look to the material itself. It's a really simple one. In the material properties, set the blend mode to translucent. In the translucency settings, the lighting mode needs to be on surface forward shading. It's the most expensive in terms of performance and it gives the best results for what we are doing here. Then we need to create five parameters that will let us manipulate the instances of this material. And the first one is the base color. That is a normal vector tree to control the glass tint. As you can see, if I change its value, the glass gets another color. I've set it to a neutral gray. We need to make parameters for specular, roughness, opacity and refraction too. Speaking of their values, I've set the specular to 1, the roughness to 0.05, the opacity to 0.4 and the refraction to 1.52. This last value is suggested by Epic itself for glass refraction value. As I said, all of them should be parameters, so a quick reminder, to make a parameter you right click on a property and select promote to parameter and then you have it. I don't need the metallic so I'm going to delete it. Now we can save the material and then we create a material instance and apply it to a mesh. Opening the material instance we find the parameters created before. Opacity makes the glass more or less transparent. Refraction controls how the pad of light is deformed when hitting the surface and as I said before it should be left on 1.52 but feel free to experiment. Roughness controls how smooth and shiny is the surface. You should keep it really low in most cases when dealing with glassy materials. Specular controls the material's highlights intensity. I've set it to 1 to increase the glassy look. Of course, all these values should be tweaked for your specific needs. Mines are just a good base to have a realistic effect. One thing to note is that changing the glass tint parameter could not immediately result in what you might have in mind. In fact, as you might have guessed, the opacity has a big influence on the final color you see. 
That's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful somehow. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to support my work. I've made another poll here on YouTube, like the one I have on my Patreon, but it's restricted to four choices, not really sure why. Anyway, be sure to check it out, you can vote which subject you would like me to cover in future videos. I've left a link in the description below. Time to go now, see you on the next one, cheers!